I will just, I want to quote something from Muqaddimah of Imam Ibn Salah. Although it is not directly related to the subject of science of Hadith, but it is to dispel some other kind of misunderstandings. And all these Imams which I have quoted, their Aqidah was Ahlus Sunnah and they believed in Awliya and they believed in Mawlid, Milad and they believed their faith and Aqidah was our faith and Aqidah is 100% in accordance with the Aqidah of all these Imams. But this reality can only be appreciated by a person who will go through their books. And if there are some people and scholars and speakers, they don't need to go through their books. They don't need to study. They don't need to read. And just they give the speech, they deliver the speech and they become angry. And out of anger, they just keep on giving verdicts and fatwas without going through their writings. Then what we can say? I am quoting a specific reference from Imam Ibn Salah Muqaddima. And this is very interesting. Page 236. I never, never read in my life in any other book if anybody else had never mentioned and quoted this reference which I am giving to you now. This is just outcome of my own studies. He has fixed a chapter on Marifatu Autani Rivuruvat Babbuldanihim. There is a chapter on the various cities and the transmitters belonging to various cities. There he mentions Imam Abu Hafs Umar bin Muhammad bin Al-Ma'mar. Imam Ibn Salah. He mentions that how the riwayah of Sahih Muslim came down to us. How Sahih Muslim was transmitted and transformed to us. And he mentions and he is the Sheikh of Imam Nawawi. Yani from Shuyukh of Imam Nawawi. The third generation, Shuyukh, among the Shuyukh of Imam Nawawi. Imam Ibn Salah is quoting that this thing has been reported by Imam. Abu Abdullah bin al Fadl al Farawi. He says that I read Sahih Muslim under my Sheikh. I did Kira'ah of Sahih Muslim and he did Sama from me and I did Kira'ah on him from him and got Ijazah of Sahih Muslim and for this purpose. My Sheikh Imam Farawi says, My Sheikh took me to the grave of Imam Muslim. And I did Kira'a of Jami as Sahil al Muslim on the grave of Imam Muslim. He says it happened two times. Izalika marratan ala rasi qabr Muslim ibn al Hajjaj. One time I did kira of Say Muslim sitting on the towards the head in the grave of Imam Muslim on the head side. And second time he again says in the Qabri Muslim and Aidan. Second time again we sat at the cover of the grave of Imam Muslim and we did kira of Say Muslim and got Ijazah. The question is if going to the Kubur and going to the graves of Aimma is a bid'ah. Then what they were doing there on the grave of Imam Muslim? Was kira of Say Muslim not possible in a mosque? The kira of Say Muslim was not possible in the halakha of ilm? The Aimma and Shuyukh who reported Say Muslim to us and who are the authorities and the reliable sources, the chains on which everything relies upon. They for the purpose of reciting, reading, 
the jami as sahi lil muslim they are going on the grave of imam muslim why to get the baraka from the grave of imam muslim to get the baraka of imam muslim through his grave this was the aqeedah of imam ibn salah the aim of usul al hadith